Yo guys, today I woke up bright and early, and good thing I did, because there was actually plenty of stuff to do. Um, so yesterday, I was having trouble getting myself to work. It was Sunday, and um, I kept telling myself I would work on two English papers this weekend. I was saying that Friday, and then I was saying that Saturday, and I was saying that so yesterday. But I ended up uh, finishing the one that I needed a rough draft for today. I'm completely done with it. I emailed it to all my team members because we're going to do a peer review today in English. Oh, uh, right now I'm um, watching Teen Times Go, which is in the background. So I finished that paper and then I checked the syllabus for my psychology class and realized we had a quiz today. So I've studied 55 flashcards two times. So that's like looking over 110 flashcards, but it's more like looking over 55 flashcards twice. Um, I'm pretty prepared for the quiz. We didn't go over a lot. It was mainly attitudes, uh, personal relationships, intimate relationships. Um, it seems pretty basic. I feel like the quiz will be rather common sense. Right now in psychology, I have like a 94. I'm hoping to bring it up to 95. So I'm going to be looking really for like a one point boost from what I'm already at. So, I feel like I'm confident in my ability to do that with the amount of studying that I've done so far. Um, Thanksgiving break is this week, which means a lot of stuff is going to be rushed. Um, I know in math, we're going to do fractional decomposition today, and I think this is like the first and last day we're going to do it. Um, and that's my first class for today. I don't have that until 9, it's like 7.32 a.m. And then in psychology, I'm going to have a quiz, which I feel like the quiz is rushed only because of the fact of Thanksgiving break. If we didn't have Thanksgiving break, we would have had like an additional day um, where we would have reviewed over concepts or something like that. Um, because it did really sideswipe me. I didn't expect it. I thought we were going to have a past session uh, this Tuesday. But I forgot about Thanksgiving break and all that. And then in my English class, like I said, we're just doing a peer review, so I'm glad I finished that paper. Uh, so yeah, right now I'm just chilling out and watching some Teen Titans go. Oh, and also yesterday, um, I got taken on Marshmallow Assassin. But um, the guy who took me out, he took a picture of me and sent it to the guy who runs the Deadpool. And the Deadpool gave me credit for the kill instead of the guy. So I'm still in it. I have another target and everything. Um, it's rather interesting. I'd like to see where that goes. Um, also, the story about how he got me was interesting. Um, I went to his room and I knocked on the door and I said that I was working with the RAs and that I needed to talk to um, this guy named Rodney about a package. So the guy who answered the door is like, hold up, let me go get Rodney. And he comes back to the door, opens it, and I was like, so is Rodney in? And then he like touched me with a marshmallow. He went back to his room to get a marshmallow. He was Rodney the whole time. And he said the reason why he knew that um, I wasn't legit is because someone last week in Marshmallow Assassin took out his roommate using the same ploy of pretending to be like working with the RAs and just like, oh, I need to talk to such and such. So apparently, this is a strategy that other people have been using and it's not worked. <laughs> um, so now that I've been given a second chance because the guy who um, took me out yesterday ended up taking himself out by submitting the picture somehow and I now have a new target. Um, I now have a second chance in order to try and like overcome. So yeah, um, I'm going to do that so you guys stay tuned for more content. No, no one knows the context of what's being said. Well, I'm about to go into the context of what's being said. Good, because I just showed up in this conversation. See, look, I changed the context, so I don't want to... I got you. Okay. Um, this is the last day of English, so we decided to all get together. This is like all the members of Trail Mix, except for Selena. Oh, uh, there's Sydney. She's not important enough to be here. Of course, there's Kate. Got that up? That's what happened. People flap. People no, flap in no, real life. No, you, will, no. you will see plenty of flaps. Do you know that my parents don't believe that other people wear sunglasses on their head? They think that they, they think that's something that I made up. No, like so many people do that. Well, people wear them on their head, but not their face, like where you've got them. Like, not you, usually. You're, you're acting like you've got a second set of eyes up here <laughs> that we don't know about. Like these are just decoys. How do you yeah. know though? No, we don't glasses. know. Mm. 
Oh, that's right. What did you get? I got the Texas oh. Panini. Hmm. I wonder if that's good. <laughs> I don't know. like you out. Oh. But anyways, yeah, we're just celebrating um, our time in English as trail mix. Oh, yeah, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, a uh, toast to trail mix. Oh, uh, man, I'm the only one that got a bottle of water. At least, you got, at least you got a drink. Oh, use your fist. Use his bottle of water. He's not drinking it. At the moment. Are we not drinking? Are we not? Well, I was waiting for Kate. Yeah. He's not going to toast. He's lazy right now. Yeah, okay. Now, what are you going to drink? His own blood. He's going to, like, vampire it. You're going to drink apathy? <laughs> what a metaphor. Is that self cannibalism? Yes. Maybe or maybe it's just recycling. I don't know. Suicide or murder? What? Drinking your own blood? It's murder. The clone has a distinct self for me. Mm -hmm. Haven't you ever seen the island? Sorry, Kate, you don't get to be in the shot. Uh, the table's full. But why do I want to? I don't want to be in the shot. I don't want to be in the shot either. I feel weird in the shot. Well, Zion, I'm going to be in the shot. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> I really wanted to. You can put it on that table and just point it over here. That would be really cool. I just hope nobody hope people don't up. steal the yeah. thing. No, no, don't do it. No, dude. <laughs> okay, it's like, look, I just recovered from being in the shot. Don't put me back in the <laughs> shot. Okay, so yeah, you sent me a really long message at first. That actually oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stay okay. tuned. So hey guys, how's it going? Hey, uh, it's like the, the most basic of Gerard and Ryan, and we're, we're about to play Castle Crashers. Yeah. 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 So let's see. Earlier today, um, when we did the English meetup thing, we actually got to meet Sydney's boyfriend, Michael, and we had a great time talking about like the crazy antics of like Anzel and everything that's been going on. Uh, the Kevin Sandela's boxes thing. Uh, so it was pretty fun. And then earlier in the hallway, they did like a Thanksgiving meal thing, and a whole bunch of people in the hallway got together, and that was cool too. So yeah, you guys stay tuned for more content. Happy birthday, Avery! Da, 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 this is technically the next day, but whatever, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's so low. Yeah. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. We're it's not 1 o'clock in the morning. It's almost it's 1.37. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's not 1 o'clock in the morning. It's 1.37. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. God. You forgot? I, I, I literally it. asked you what time it was earlier. I was like, oh, it's my birthday. I was like, oh, it's 12. Oh, it's my birthday. Oh, birthday. You're oh, my birthday. Oh, birthday. Oh, birthday. Oh, oh, birthday. 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 I got my birthday. It's one in the morning. Go away. <laughs> I called you on your birthday. You remember that? Yeah, we weren't talking about essays. My birthday's in the summer. Just kidding. <laughs> this is what Holy saying. shit. Ron? My dad? Whenever a creature dies, put a wall on counter on a foot. <laughs> oh my god, it's so stupid. He's thinking oh. he's kill me. No, yeah, he's not. He's not. we're still playing some magic. He can't. Um, him. I gotta tell you guys about like some confusion well, hypnosis techniques and extended cognition, but later. So stay tuned Ryan for Bruins. more content. Awesome. Hey, yo, um, I don't know how to describe what happened. <laughs> uh, so what we happened? Thought, we thought he died. He didn't die. Yeah, we thought Gerard died, but he didn't die. Uh, he has like a 50-50. And he attacks me and Actually, I use... Actually, I don't gain a life, but... No, because the palm does damage to you. Yeah, and well, I use deflecting palm. So, so you're at 87? Oh, well, you're dead, so... Yeah, I'm dead. You're at 87 now? Yeah. Hey, can you... Minus... Yeah, so he ended up taking 50. Uh, that would have wiped me out if I had actually been hit by so you're it. you're at 99. Yes, I am. What's your hand? <coughs> uh, this. I think this is my hand. Okay. This is the... You have to discard this. Ryan's this card card you, so this is dead. Unfortunately, you have to discard that. That's mine. <coughs> oh, I'm facing Gerard now. This was originally four people. Oh, you guys saw that. Yeah. Uh, Avery was in it. It's his birthday. He's awesome. You know. uh, Ryan was in it. He died like a second ago. <laughs> uh, Gerard is in it. He has 99 uh, damage, it oh, looks okay. like. I mean, not damage, health. And then I got... Um, 46. Alright. <laughs> That's workable. Yeah. All right. You would have, like, overkilled it like, like, uh, Colin does sometimes. You should have deflecting palm wild ricochet. <laughs> Wait, what? Deflecting palm wild ricochet. So, he double hits Gerard. Wait. 
Okay. So yeah, it's my turn. So you guys stay tuned for more content.